be dark! This treasure map made me waste an entire day! And now we're going back home empty-handed, no treasure, nothing! Calm down, Captain. Look at this view. The trip was worth it. <laughs> this map is useless! At least I brought my compass to navigate this vast sea! But what the heck? Stop rocking this boat! Oh no! Serves you right. I told you to stay calm. Now, there's no use crying over a lost compass. Better wait until sunrise. There! The sun is rising! Now what, Featherbrain? How are we going to find our way back home? Very simple, Captain. I found this map down in the hold. It shows that Remarkable City is north of the pudding-shaped island. That island over there! Exactly! And what do you know about north, Patusco? I just used the compass rose, Captain. What rose? I want to get back home, not flowers! Oh boy, the compass rose is a graphic representation that originated in ancient Greece. The Greeks used this figure to indicate the direction in which the winds were blowing, which is why it was called the Wind Rose. Sometime later, this drawing was included on maps to help navigators find their way using the cardinal directions. North, east, south, and west, and also the intercardinal directions. Northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. With the new function came the new name, Compass Rose, since this figure looks like a flower. I already knew that. And how is this drawing going to tell me where to go? The drawing doesn't tell you, but the sun does. Look, the position where the sun rises is called the east. During the day, it moves across the sky to the other side. But when it gets there, the position is called the west. So, the sun moves above us? I already knew that! No, Captain. The Earth is the one that moves, rotating around itself. We can't see the Earth moving because we live on it. So, it looks like the Sun is moving. We call this the apparent movement of the Sun. Okay, the Earth spins, the Sun seems to move, but we're still stuck here. Now we're going to find our way. When I figure out where the Sun rises, I point my right wing to it. And that's the east. That's obvious, Patusco. And since the sun sets on the other side, I know that the direction I point my left arm to is the west. You're so smart, Captain. So if the Pudding Island is to the west, that means north is straight ahead. Full steam ahead to the north, sailors. Oh, I'm starving. I'm sure it's lunchtime. Of course not, Captain. Don't you see the sun's position? Oh, here we go again with this apparent movement of the sun. Are you going to tell me that the sun shows the time now? Of course. But don't look at the sun directly, Captain. <laughs> we can tell the time by observing the position of shadows. That's how sundials work. You just need to use the gnomon and observe where the shadow is. We can use the ship's mast as the gnomon. The sun rises around 6 a.m. in the east, and the morning shadows are cast to the left, in the west. As the day progresses, the shadows move. See? For each position of the shadow, we mark an hour. There are approximately 12 hours of sunlight. So, I'd say it's about 9 a.m. <laughs> Perfect time for breakfast! We finally arrived! Let's go, sailors! Time to eat some sandwiches! At least the captain learned something new. <laughs> he learned that by observing the apparent movement of the sun and the position of the shadows, we can tell our location and even the time of day. Good thing I'm so smart and learn it all this. <laughs>